All right, lesson 32. I believe this is the last lesson of the year. Now we get to review. Um, dividing complex numbers. We've added, subtracted, multiplied. Now we're dividing. In order to divide, we got to learn what a conjugate is. Whoa, that's not supposed to move. That was supposed to be underlined. All right, so let's jump into the opening exercise, see what we got. They're reminding us uh, that we have special um, situations here. These are differences of squares where the middle term goes away. So we end up with 25 plus uh, 9 is what's going to happen. Remember the, the I squared makes the negative positive, that type thing. This becomes 4 plus 1, right? Clearly, you could simplify these, become 34. This becomes 5. And so they're asking you to just pay attention to these. And, and I'm moving fast, but you and you guys can test these out, right? This becomes x squared plus 1. This one becomes x squared plus 25. Uh, this one gets a little, little bit crazier. All right, go ahead and check my work. See if it's right. Um, I'm gonna let, we're going to move on from there. The whole idea was to get you to understand that we have special situations. Remember, these things always came in pairs. Uh, and the pairs happen to be conjugates of each other, which is what we introduce here. For real values of a, x and a, the expression x plus ai times x minus ai is a real number. The factors x plus ai and x minus ai form what we call a conjugate pair. These things come in pairs. All right, so they said use the pattern above to find the conjugate. Well, the conjugate of this is just going to be 2 minus 3i, uh, negative 7 plus 4i, negative 4 minus 5i, uh, negative 3i, um, negative 7, right? And then this is going to be plus 5i. Hopefully that makes sense. You're just, you're changing the, um, the sign of the second term. They want us to graph this uh, and their conjugates. All right, so here I plotted the points. Notice that they are symmetrical about the x-axis, unless it's a whole number, then it's right on the x-axis. Um, pretty neat. Not, not real valuable in terms of multiplying, but you understand where they come from. Okay. Uh, to divide complex numbers, we want to make the denominators a real number. We don't like radicals in the denominator, remember? We need to multiply the denominator by a complex number that makes it a real number. That would be its conjugate. All right, so that was the process here. All right, so I, I'm going to jump to number 8, and we're going we're gonna to take a look and see what we've got. Um, in order to multiply number 8, we had decided that we have to multiply by the conjugate of the denominator. So that becomes 2 minus 5i. But if I multiply the denominator by 2 minus 5i, I also have to multiply the numerator. Okay, now nicely, we know what happens in the denominator. That becomes 4 uh, minus 25i squared. The middle term, remember, is going to go away. So what's going to happen to that sign? That's going to change to plus 25. In the numerator, we've got, we got some work to do. Um, and hopefully you'll pull up some scratch paper and can multiply this out. Um, okay, so you can see uh, this gets a, get, can get a little complicated at times. Go step by step, and you should be okay. Let's try number 9 together. Um, um, I'm, let's do B together. I think B is a little bit easier to do. Um, so we're, we're multiplying the denominator by 3 plus I. 
and 3 plus i, right? So when we multiply, my denominator here becomes 9 minus i squared. My numerator becomes 9 plus 3i. We know that that becomes plus 1. So we have 10 in the denominator and 9 plus 3i in the numerator. That's the process. Now, let's, if you want to watch it, we're going to we'll go ahead and, and work uh, A. Um, its conjugate here is going to be negative 2 plus 7i, negative 2 plus 7i. Keep in mind, these are conjugates in the denominator. That becomes positive 4. The middle term is going to go away altogether. And that's become minus 49i squared, right? That changes. In the numerator, we're going to have to do some multiplying. First term is negative 6 plus 21, 21i uh, times 2i becomes minus 4i uh, plus... 14i squared, and again, remember that's going to change signs. What do we have? Well, this is plus 49, right? This is going to be minus 14. So we have in the denominator, 49 plus 4 is 53. In the numerator, we have negative 6 minus 14 is negative 20. 21i minus 4i becomes plus 17i. Um, you might have to use some scratch paper. Uh, I did a little bit of that in terms of the foiling in my head, but it makes it go by, go by a little bit faster. All right. Complex conjugates, remember, they are just special um, differences of squares. Makes the i go away so we can rationalize the denominator. Good luck. Have fun.